It's not often that you have days when you go offshore fishing where the weather's perfect, the fish cooperate, and you have zero boat problems whatsoever. So I recommend if you have one of those days to not take it for granted. Now on this particular trip, we took out of Pensacola, Florida at about 6 a.m. and the only way that I can describe it is this was the perfect day. Oh, there he is, got him, got him, oh man. They're all over it. Got him, got him, got him. <laughs> What's going on folks? Welcome to a, another a video. We're getting ready for an offshore fishing trip tomorrow morning. I'm out here at the store right now, Beach Bum Outdoors, picking up some stuff for the trip. For those of you that don't know, we do have plenty of healthy looking shrimp now at Beach Bum Outdoors. So if you need live bait, uh, we do open at 5 a.m. every single morning. Uh, so if you're an early bird fisherman, stop by and check us out. I'll leave the address linked in my description. We're gonna walk up in here and get us a slow pitch jigging combo. That's something I'm really interested in doing tomorrow. If you hear any background noise, we're spooling reels in the background. We've got a slow pitch jigging selection right here. I put a little combo together that I wanna try out tomorrow. This is the Saltiga LD35JH. I put 30 pound braid on it and I paired this up with the JYG Revolution Pro Series rod. Now, I'm not super familiar with slow pitch jigging. It's just something that I haven't done a lot of, so I'm trying to get into it. We're gonna try it out tomorrow. We are headed to the house. We got our jigging combo right here, and we'll catch up with y'all first thing in the morning at the boat. You ready? Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's do it. I, I got me, I uh, brought my slow pitch jigging combo, Brian. I got a brand new one right here, and I want you to try it out on a big okay. amberjack. Cool. And we'll let you test it out. <laughs> <laughs> and we're off. So let's take a look and see what is in season today while we're headed out. Now, uh, if you are headed out of Florida or Alabama or whatever state you're in, it's good to look at this uh, Fish Rules app right here. It's uh, really solid. So let's check Amberjack. It's Amberjack is closed. Now this is a lesser Amberjack. They're open all, all year. Let's look at grouper. Gag grouper is closed, but there are other types of grouper that we can catch like scamp. Scamp is open. You can keep four per person. Gray triggerfish is open, one per person, 15 inch minimum size, fork length measurement. And of course, red snapper's closed. So we're gonna go out here and just mess around, see if we can run into anything cool and hopefully the weather holds off. There you go. That's a that's a good bait right there. Ah, come here. That is a big old cigar minnow. Great bait. We stopped right here in Pensacola Pass just to try to grab a few baits real quick. Lots and lots of boat traffic out today. Everybody's going fishing. Y'all check out what Brian just caught on a sabiki rig right here. A beautiful squid. That is cool, man. We're definitely going to keep him. <laughs> Got him. That didn't take long. Oh, he came off. One of them came off. I think I got another one on there. Yep. Oh my gosh. We got a little squirrel fish, little sand perch. Sand perch have been all in my videos here lately. In every video, I've got filming catching sand perch or filming sand perch. There we go. Got a couple of them, I believe. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, I had three or four, but I'll take two. <laughs> we got a few baits and uh, we're gonna head out about 25, 30 miles. We'll catch up with you as soon as we find something cool. We're just checking grass mats right now we just ran across this little grass mat right here 
just seeing if they have any fish on it and uh it's always good to stop on this kind of stuff i don't see any fish on it but that doesn't mean they're not something nearby yeah oh golly there we go <laughs> Oh, Brian, that was a good splash right there. Look at them on top. Get a, uh, look, see them blowing up on the grass right there? Yep. What is that? Oh my gosh, man. Are you on? You're on with the Bonita. We need to, we That's need. Big bonita, yeah, yeah, no. I think the drag's not set good on this. We need to uh, watch that grass right there because there was something like, almost like, Maybe big triple tails on it. Oh, look at there, look at there. Look at there, amberjacks are trying to eat them. Are we over some kind of a structure? Look at this, look at this. Watch this, I'm pulling, I'm gonna pull him up. Watch the AJs coming up with him. Look at those big ambers under the boat. Look at them. That is cool. We must be over structure, man, that is strange. Okay, look at him, there's amberjacks. Look at him. Oh, he's chasing my bonita. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that is wild. These guys are so much fun on light tackle. We stopped on that little grass patch and I hooked a bonita and then a bunch of amberjack came up. So there must be some structure nearby. So we're going to turn on the sonar and look. That's what I, that's what I was talking about earlier. What is that? Oh, are you on? That's got to be a bonita. Really? Let's see. Oh yeah, but look, look what's, oh look, big Almacos. That's what it is. Look at all the big Almacos with, oh, there he is. I got one of them. That's what we're, I'm like, what was that blowing up? It's a nice one too. You, you do too, Brian. That's an Almaco? You've got a Almaco. Oh, look at him, look at him. Oh my gosh. Uh, look at the AJ. Look at the AJ coming up with them. Holy cow, dude. Oh my gosh. Mark this spot right here. Nice Almaco Jack. They're all over these weed lines and this grass and structure out here. Great to eat and you can keep those. Where'd they go? I don't know. They were right in that area. Is that oh, them? Look, look over there. Oh no, they're on, they're on you. They're on you. So it came right up to the boat. They're definitely, de definitely down here. There he is, got him right under the boat. <laughs> that is cool. Oh man. It's crazy what you can run across out here. These are nice ones too. Is he by himself? No, he's got a ton of them with him. Right underneath us, Brian. Big big ambers too. Oh look, look, you're all oh, you got an AJ. <laughs> That's okay. We'll sit here and catch these. Another nice Almaco right here. Check it out. That is a keeper. We've come up on some sort of structure out here that we didn't know was here. Ooh, that was right behind us. They're right behind us now. There he is. There's a fish. Got him. Got him. They're all nice ones too. Oh man, come on, it's crazy. Look at him chasing them up. Oh, he came off, he came off. He came off, that's okay. Drop my jig back down. They're all over it, got him, got him, got him. <laughs> oh man. Brian, if we could, can you drop the trolling motor real quick? Let's just stay right here, if you can. Let's see if anything else comes up. I'll sit here and chum. <laughs> Get him in the boat. We're gonna drop the trolling motor and chum these guys up. We're piling up the Almaco jacks right now. Check this out. So we anchored on this spot that we never knew existed before. We just found it and I've got chum right here and we're just tossing chum out. Yeah, and we're just kind of trying to get these fish into a feeding frenzy.
Watch this. I'm going to chuck a bait out this little whoop, this little sand perch, and let's see what happens. Uh, he lasted two seconds. <laughs> he lasted literally two seconds. There he is. Got him. <laughs> oh, man. Watch what I bring him up. Look how many AJs come up. I mean, monster AJs, too. Look at that guy right there. Oh, oh, he's trying to eat it. He's trying to eat it. Holy cow. God, that is wild. This spot is the, uh, this is the AJ spot right here. Now this is an Almaco jack that I've got on. And I might get in trouble by doing this, but I'm gonna throw a popper <laughs> just to see. You never know. Ah. Oh, there he is, got him, got him, oh man. <laughs> Oh man, he came off. No, he's about, he's on it. He's on it. <laughs> uh, they are loving the popper. <laughs> Did you get that, Brian? Yeah. That was cool. First cast. <laughs> Woo! I wish it would have been as big as that. I know. But it was still good. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dang. We have found this, we found an AJ gold mine, okay? And it was luck that we found it. We stopped on a grass mat and there just happened to be a bottom spot below and it's got the most AJs on it I've seen in a long time. And there's some massive ones. You would need big giant live hardtails to catch the massive ones. But I'm good without catching a massive one, really. And then he'd tell me it was a grouper and hand me the rod. Okay, a little bit bigger one. Really cool topwater blow up. We're going to release him. So that was a pleasant surprise, and that is why you always stop on things that you see out here when you're riding out. We haven't even made it to our spot yet, but we're going to truck on we've got enough aj's so great start to the day finally made it to our spot i am going to try a little jig in here with the new combo we're in super deep water so uh, hopefully it works out we'll see we have found bottom Check out that vermilion Brian just caught. That is a fine one. And that's what's down here. This is a phenomenal vermilion spot. But I'm just trying to see if there's anything bigger down there. I've got a big jig on. There he is. There's a fish. There's a fish. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. First fish on the jig come on kind of now acting maybe like a grouper species right in there. I think it's a grouper Brian it sure is. it's not it's very smooth on that no I think it's definite grouper species of some sort super smooth there he is I see color if it's a foul hooked vermilion I'm going to be mad, and that's exactly what it is. Thought it was a grouper, and it's a giant vermilion that is foul hooked. <laughs> and I had this guy foul hooked, and that's why he was fighting so hard. Nonetheless, we'll take him. We're going to go cruising now. It's so beautiful out here, and we're just going to look and see if we can find anything else on top. See if we can catch a mahi. We're just easing through the broken grass looking for uh, any kind of movement, bait fish, predatory fish. Using a little glass minnow, just because there's a bunch of big patches up here, Brian. Okay. Let's run up there. 
They're they're moving. Where where'd they go? Right there. Oh, got him! Got him! There he is. Got him. Yeah, decent. Woo! Nice. <laughs> that was cool. There's another one with him, Brian. There's two more. That was cool. Here's a little trick. I always keep him around the boat. But that's a nice one, so I'm going to go ahead and throw him in the boat. <laughs> They're right in front of you, right there, or a little to your right, a little to your right. Check it out, y'all. Came up on a little uh, weed line here, and there was a few few decent little mahi on it. That's going to make a uh, that's gonna make a taco right here. There's so much grass out here today. <sighs> Not a lot of fish on them, but we are, you know, seeing some ones and twos, but no, no school. Yeah. Stop right here. Got him. There's a fish. There's a fish. <laughs> oh, what is it? Oh, it's a mahi. He's staying down. It's not a big one. Nice. That's decent. Yeah. It's funny. We saw him come up out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> Look what a beautiful fish right there, guys. These are so pretty. Love catching them. Let's get back after another one. Pretty decent little fish. Yeah. Brian's got him a mahi coming up Fine. right here. Pretty little mahi. Oh, there we go. Wow, oh, they're beautiful. Man, by them, every one of them just about has been by themselves today, which is so unique. Like you usually see them in schools. This is the, uh, oh, putting on a shot. This is the biggest grass patch we've seen yet. It is massive. Oh, I'm on two. I'm on two. <laughs> nice. I just told Brian this grass mat is so big that if we don't catch a mahi, we're going home. That's a little guy. We're going to release him. I'm going to take a live bait on this grass mat here and just kind of drift it out the back because it's such a big mat that there could be, got to be something big around it. They're not eating very well. They've been messed with. Oh, come on, come on, got him. Oh, lost him. There's multiple around the boat right here. It's cool. Ah, I didn't want you. There, gummit. I got an Almaco Jack. <laughs> We've caught enough Almacos today. The Mahi are not overly aggressive like they've already been messed with. There you go, Brian. You're on. There you go. I got him. <laughs> oh! Hey, yeah, yeah, he came off. We just made it back in the bayou. That was a fun, uh, eventful morning out there on the water. We got a nice mixed bag. There's the final haul, folks. That's what we kept. We're going to divide that between me and Brian's family. And uh, we're going to take them up, clean them up right now. Now, when I'm cleaning these smaller mahi like this, I like to make a cut and then just go right down the side. Super easy, effective way to, uh, to clean the small ones like this. Uh, and then I just take the uh, meat right off the skin. And, and the small ones taste great. I love making fish tacos out of these guys and that is exactly what we're gonna do in this video.
And I do the same thing on the back side. I've got a Dexter Russell 8 inch fillet knife and uh, it just cuts right through it. Super easy, effective way to clean these guys. And look at all that row in there. Should have taken that home and fried it up. I actually like fish row, by the way. I don't know what it is about mahi, but for some reason they're one of my favorite fish to catch. Now we're going to take these guys home right now and make my favorite fish tacos. I want to show you this spread right here, okay? We have kind of prepped our fish. That is our mahi mahi, and we have got all kind of ingredients right there. Because we are gonna do my favorite fish taco recipe, and we have a very special guest that is going to cook this meal for us. Introducing my wife, the bacon grease goddess. Hey guys, let's get started on this delicious fish taco recipe. So check out this beautiful fish. I'm gonna go ahead and get it seasoned up on both sides with salt, pepper, paprika, and cayenne. We've got our fish seasoned up. Now we're gonna do flour, then dip it in beaten egg, and then we're gonna dip it in our breadcrumbs. And I do have my flour seasoned up with salt, pepper, and I have the eggs beaten up with salt and pepper as well. Let's go ahead and get this fish into the hot oil. I want it to look nice and golden brown. I actually did the fish two ways. The first way has got breadcrumbs, which will be nice and crunchy. I also decided to do a more traditional deep fried fish dipped in eggs and then flour. And look how nice and golden brown that is. Perfect. Nice. Looks crispy. Let's get started on the dressing for the slaw. We're going to start out with some honey, some olive oil. And this is a Brian Landry recipe, so you know it's gonna be good. And then we have some fresh lime juice, rice vinegar, some jalapeno sauce. You could also use a fresh jalapeno, and we have some salt. Just whisk that together. Now let's make the slaw, which is super crunchy sweet and a little spicy. Here I've got some washed angel hair cabbage, a chopped bell pepper, chopped green onions, chopped cilantro, a chopped apple. Now let's add over the dressing. Let's taste it and check for seasonings. Mmm. Next step is our pink chili mayonnaise. It's tangy and creamy and perfect on the fish tacos. To a blender, I'm gonna add in our mayonnaise, sour cream, three chipotles with their adobo sauce, and I will leave the recipe below, guys. But that this is what gives it that beautiful pink color. And then for flavor, some fresh lime juice. Okay guys, we are all set to assemble these delicious fish tacos. And we're gonna get started with our tortilla. So we have either regular flour tortilla or a corn tortilla. I like to warm them up on a skillet with a little bit of butter. You're gonna take your tortilla and you're gonna add your piece of fish, your slaw, And Brian has a delicious recipe that I will link below for mango salsa. Now this is one that Brant likes and it's right at the regular grocery store. So we'll put some of that mango salsa on. 
look how good that looks. Then we're gonna get our sauce. So check this out, that pink crema sauce that we made, I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag and we're gonna drizzle that sauce all over the fish taco. Look at how good that looks. Okay, let's try them. So that has loads of flavor. That is, I remember now why it's my favorite fish taco recipe. Mm -hmm. The combination from the mango salsa, the tangy slaw, to, and the pink chili mayonnaise make this out of this world flavorful. You have to try it. We'll link the recipe below. Guys, if you enjoyed that video, shoot me a big thumbs up. Everything I'm involved with is also linked below. We're having a big Memorial Day event, the 27th, 28th, 29th at Beach Bum Outdoors. Me, Matt, and Brad will be there along with other influencers. It's gonna be an awesome time. We're just gonna be hanging out. Stop by the store and hang out with us. We'll also have a sale, a tent sale outside. Other than that, folks, we will catch you next time.